Hello all, today in this video we are going to see and demo for hybrid uh, uh, CNN along with the SVM. Uh, this code we have previously done, that is uh, the, with, the, with the code which we are going to do is we have done, with, we are going to do with diabetes data set. Already with the diabetes data set we have done with ANN and also in CNN and some improved CNN. So in as the continuation of that code only we have, you, we are going to just do. So if you are following this channel means you have done, you, you would have a uh, check that the diabetes classification with the ANN. Uh, so with the ANN we can see all the things we are doing from scratch only so in ANN you can see we have used two dense layers so now the code is running uh, now uh, then with the uh, why I'm not explaining because previously in the previous video for ANN we have made a video in the same channel so if you want the explanation means you can check that in that video uh, so in the same channel we have made a video for the CNN uh, classification that is diabetes classification also from scratch the data set which we have used is we have just downloaded from Kaggle one of the subscriber has asked that how we have to download from Kaggle you have to just uh, move to the link uh, just uh, download Kaggle that is what is the, if uh, for example if you need diabetes means you can just in Google search you can just search as diabetes data set Kaggle download so in that case you will just you, you will just re redirect it to the Kaggle link but in uh, some cases you would have to re be registered in this Kaggle so if so only you, need, you can download so this is the code for CNN uh, diabetes classification for scratch. Every classification is same only. Only the data set which we are going differs. So based on the size of the data set, the input shape is also differs. Only small, small changes will be there. Others will be different only. The main changes will be the da data set and the number of classes in some data set it is will mostly it will binary classification in some it will be some multi-class classification so based on that it will vary so this is the code for improved cnn from the scratch uh, in the video uh, we would have said that that improved cnn we uh, we have added some more layers like uh, previously in the original that is the conventional CNN if you see means that uh, there will be only one convolution layer but in this case there, with, there are two convolution layers moreover we are uh, using batch normalization and dropout from this layer only we are going to make an hybrid CNN along with the SVM uh, by which what we are going to do is by the CNN we are going to get the features of the data set and based on the features we are going to let these features as the input of the SVM and based on that we are going to get the classification report. Uh, so what is the use of this batch normalization in dropout means normally you may know that in an uh, uh, deep learning or in uh, which mostly in artificial intelligence models what is the uh, out uh, limitations which may uh, which the you may see is the with the underfitting and overfitting issue so by using this batch normalization and dropout layer this underfitting and overfitting issues will be resolved to some extent so uh, other than uh, the existing cnn which is not using batch normalization and uh, uh, dropout we are using patch normalization and dropout now the improved cnn is running so after it's uh, it will take some time since the data size of the based on the size of the data set for data set size is low means it will not take much results uh, much time but since our data set uh, size is some um, high it will take some time only so let it uh, run at that time we can just see the explanation of the hybrid model which we have created so this is the hybrid model which we have created or the data sets the same as the that is the layer contribution is same and the layer arrangement is same as the improved CNN. The only thing we have uh, just imported that as I said previously uh, the X train and from the X train and the Y train and also the models of this uh, uh, CNN we are just uh, calculating the features of the train and also the features of the test based on that feature train and uh, uh, test we are just uh, declaring the uh, classifier that is here here you can see in the fit function we are just using this features train of SVM uh, and then void train and in the predictor to predict the function we are just using features test so this is the 
uh, hybrid. Uh, this is the structure of an hybrid CNN with that is improved CNN with the uh, uh, SVM model. Uh, so in the next video, you may see that uh, we will be working this with some different uh, data sets. Uh, it is uh, showing an error. I think this error is common only. It is due to the size of the data set. So we have to just change that. Uh, for diabetes data set is sure too. Uh, that uh, previous data set which we are working, its size is 3. So only we raised these issues. And moreover, we have to give the padding is equal to same. So if you are not giving padding is equal to same, means it will just raise an error. So that is the thing. Uh, so if you are just moving with that means uh, it, it the error will be resolved so here you can see since it, there are two convolution layers we have to add padding in two convolution layers now if you are running means there will be no error. So we shall wait till 50 approach. So when you are comparing the results with this, the previous existing codes, you can just see some improvements when compared to the uh, or the CNN and SVMs, that is uh, normal CNN and normal SVM. Uh, because we have just hybrided uh, and we are used the features of the CNN to let to train in the SVM classifier and based on that we are just run the testing so obviously there will be some uh, improvement in the classification so this is the uh, code for diabetes data set classification uh, so in the next video we can see some others uh, uh, as, as have both the hybrid CNN and SVM with some other data set. Thank you. So mostly there will be some improvement only. So it will take some time since we have done with 26 only. So in the next while we are working with the next uh, data set, we will just complete the whole code and we will just explain it. Thank you.